Hey, Lonnie, are you there? This is important. We need to talk right now. I need to ask something of you. It's quite urgent, so you need to reply to me when you see my message. Huh? Is that you, Ali? It's barely the afternoon. Why are you messaging me? Shouldn't you be doing work right now? That's not the issue at the moment. This is about me for once. So you need to listen to me, as it's a really pressing issue. Uh, okay then. So what's going on? What did you want to talk about? Our marriage certificate was left at the front door entrance. What do you intend to do with this piece of paper? What's the meaning of this? Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, that thing! Oh, I think I know. Actually, your mother came by and dropped it off at the house. She brought it over for you. My mother? She brought it over? What do you mean? Well, I was about to leave the house and I go to open the front door and I bumped into her there. She kept talking about when we were going to get married, but I needed her to stop as I was running late to go to the airport. I thought that I would make it in time to the airport and catch my flight, but because I was late, they wouldn't check me in, so I went home. But the marriage certificate was put in my handbag as your mother forced it in there before I left the house. It's not something that I wanted to take with me on my business trip. So, I left it in the entrance because I was in such a hurry. Are you for real? She actually came over and gave you the papers before your business trip? That's gotta be some sort of joke, right? But I can understand where your mother's coming from by giving us those papers to look at. Huh? What do you mean by that? You're not seriously siding with her about this, are you? Well, since she was there, I thought it would have been the best opportunity to hear her out, so I listened to everything she said and took it all in straight away. Huh? You took what in? What exactly did she say to you? Haven't you been reading any of the messages I've sent? About marriage, of course! Don't you remember we started dating when I was 23 and you just turned 29 and then a year and a half later you proposed to me? Then we started living in the same place together right after that. Nothing else has happened since then. It's already been five years since you proposed to me and that you made a promise to marry me. Are you still up for marrying me or what? I've been waiting so long. But wait a second. Is that why you brought up the subject of the marriage paper sitting in front of our entrance? <laughs> You brought it up. I'm just telling you that I've waited so long. Your own mother seems to be sick of waiting as well, as she was the one that came over with the documents in her hand. Oh my god. Lonnie, you're so impatient when it comes to getting married, aren't you? <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. I, I just booked myself on the next flight out of here, so I'm about to board it. We'll continue this conversation when I get home tomorrow after this business trip. Huh? What? You want to continue talking about this marriage stuff? Well, since it's been brought up by your mother and also myself, there's no better opportunity to talk about it than right now, in the present day, Ali. If you think about it, messaging about it is not the best place to talk about something this important. Let's just make a time to talk about it face to face so we can openly communicate and hear each other's thoughts on the matter. Ugh. I don't know about all of that. It sounds like a lot of work just talking about it. Hi, sweetheart. Are you there, Lonnie? Is now a good time for us to talk? Oh, hi, Mom! How are you doing? I'm currently at a hotel as I'm on a business trip. I hope you don't mind. Oh, really? You're at a hotel? You're on a business trip again? Yeah, it's been super busy in the office lately. I was assigned to a different department because of a change they underwent six months ago. The department has been sending me to different parts of the country, so I don't really have much of a choice but to go. It's great that you're able to get so much out of your job and that you can see different areas of the country. But what does Ali have to say about you going here, there, and everywhere? Oh, Ali? I mean, he's not really mentioned much about my business trip or how much I'm not at home. When I told him that I had been assigned to a department that required me to go on a lot of business trips, his response was, uh, right, okay. He didn't seem to be listening or didn't care. Hmm... Maybe my thinking is a little bit old-fashioned. But it's not good for a couple who've been living together for five years with not much intention on getting married to be having such different lifestyles. 
Well, I guess it doesn't help that Ali's father passed away after being hospitalized for such a long time. I think it's because a lot of things happened and you both haven't found the right time to get married. But it's still been five years! Don't you think it's because you both have different values? That's why nothing's happened? Yeah, you could be onto something there, Mom. I really don't know what to do about it. Well, it could be related to that, but I don't either, Lani. Well, what's up, Mom? What are you thinking? Maybe I could offer you to go on a blind date with someone else. That could push Ollie into making a decision, right? What the heck, Mom? Why would I do that when I'm engaged? I don't know the full details, but your father will explain it to you over the phone. If you don't have much time right now, maybe we can discuss this later? Yeah, I'm a bit busy right now. Okay, let's just talk about this later. But I'm hearing what you're saying now. Hello, Ali? Are you there? I just wanted to let you know that I walked through the door just now. Are you still at work? What are you up to? No, I'm not at work right now. I'm currently at a cafe using their Wi-Fi. <laughs> huh? What are you doing there for? I know that we've got Wi-Fi at home, right? I know, but I don't want to be at home at the moment. You kept going on and on about marriage this, marriage that. I don't want to hear any of it right now. Hey, well, I was being serious yesterday. I feel like I should be after waiting this long. I can't avoid this any longer because some people are urging us to get married already. Don't you think it's fair to talk about it? <laughs> oh, come on, Lonnie. Don't ask those sort of things. What's so funny, Ali? I'm trying to have a decent conversation with you about us. I've just turned 30 and you've just turned 35. We should be talking more about this. If you want to get married to me, then let's do it. If you don't, then you need to say so. Can't you just give me a clear decision? Even though you say that to me, I just don't know. I want to continue living with you, but if we're to get married, there would be so many things that would bother me. What things would bother you, Ali? I don't get it. What would be so different? There's just various things that would bother me. Such as relationship with relatives, having to interact with each other's parents, and whether to have children. I don't think we'd have much to do with the rest of our relatives and just have more focus on each other. I don't think my parents would mind if we were a bit distant from them after we got married. But would that really happen, though? There are times when things change suddenly when two people get married, though. Don't you think you're being a bit two-faced about this? I don't get why you are. Also, when it comes to having kids, I don't mind if we have them or not. It's not a huge deal-breaker for me. I'd also be fine with living as a couple forever if we couldn't have children. But if we do decide to have children, by the time we try, it might be too late for me to get pregnant without too many complications. There are more physical limitations when it comes to raising children at an older age, you know. That's why I think it's important to think about all these things in advance so that decisions can be made and that we know what we want. I guess I see your point, but I don't want to have to worry about what we're discussing about in the future, so... I see what you mean. I know that you're that kind of person. So it's best to talk about it sooner rather than later? I guess so, but... Um... I don't know about something like this. Huh? What do you mean? I'm, I'm a bit confused. You need to be more specific. It just seems like you're giving me no choice but to marry you. Like, don't you think you're putting a lot of pressure on me? I guess so, but I wouldn't describe it like that. Rather that I'm checking to see if you have any desire in marrying me. That's why we've been talking about the pros and cons from both points of view. Look, if you've got something to say, it would be best if you say it now. I'll also use it as a base to make future decisions. Okay then, I suppose we better talk some more. What do we do about dividing our things in the property? Huh? What do you mean by that? Are you planning on dividing our assets even before we could get divorced and get married? Wait a second. No, I don't think that's quite what I meant. Um, honestly, I'm not quite sure what I mean anymore. If you've got any complaints about us, I would like you to take the opportunity to speak out about them right now. No, that's not it either. I don't think I've got any complaints. I'm just wondering how I can word what I'm about to say. Just so that I can get my point across without you interrupting. What about being the breadwinner of the family? I guess I might not be ready for that kind of responsibility yet. Am I? I don't want to put the financial burden solely on you to earn for us. I've mentioned that before and I intend to continue working at my job after we get married. I'm actually quite relieved for you to say that, but I guess maybe this isn't the right time to be trying to step up to be the sole earner. Is it? Does that mean that you want more time to think about what you want? You do realize that it's been over five years since you proposed to me, right? Look, I know that. It's just so hard to think about so many things at once. 
This is just giving me so much trouble, and it's bothering me a lot. Huh? I, I really don't get it. What's the problem, Ali? I just want to live like we have been for now. If you're the one who wants to get married, then I see no point in continuing on with this relationship. If you don't like that idea, then don't say anything about it. If you keep pressing me to get married one more time or before I feel like getting married, I'll just say goodbye now. That's the idea I've got. Oh, okay. Uh, I see. I guess I understand. I'll just leave it at that then. So, I guess you don't want me mentioning anything about marriage ever again, is that it? Oh my gosh, Lonnie. It's about time that you caught on. I don't see any point on bringing up marriage ever. Haha! <laughs> Surely you understand that. The way things are now is the easiest way for us, right? No, I don't understand. I have the exact opposite opinion, so I think I'll continue talking about marriage. What? Did you see what I just wrote? Did you even read my message? If that's the conclusion you've come to, Ollie, I don't want to be any part of it. From here, this is the end of us. Goodbye and good luck with everything, Ollie. Are you serious? Lonnie! Lonnie! Can you reply to me, please? Hey, Mom. I hope you're doing well. You know how yesterday you mentioned something about a blind date? I think we can go ahead with that, and I'm fine doing it. Hi, Lottie. Is that alright? What made you change your mind? Yeah, I I've had enough of Ali. I can't get anywhere with him. In my mind, messaging was my last option after not being able to talk to him face to face. He was too afraid to face me and just ran off to do whatever he does by himself. Wait, what? He ran away from you? Yeah. When I messaged him saying that I just got back from my business trip, he said that he went to a cafe to use their Wi-Fi. Ah, okay. That's no good, my dear Lani. I'm so sorry that things aren't going so well. I guess he just is scared to talk about marriage. If he could just run away like that in such a natural way, then he obviously doesn't want to change anything. It's so frustrating! Still, I managed to message him and talk about things, but it was such a waste of time and energy. He's just impossible to deal with right now. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Well, I hope we can get you sorted out. Let's try to forget about him dragging you along for nothing. Hey! Lonnie! What the heck's going on right now? You need to be straight with me. Where are all your things? There's hardly anything left in the apartment. Everything's gone. It's because I stayed up all night packing my bags and moving out. But why are you moving out? I don't understand. Well, you were the one that confirmed it for me that we were never going to get married to each other. So that's why we're splitting up and I'm never coming back here. What? I'm so confused. Just because I didn't want to get married doesn't mean I don't want to live with you. You can't just move out. We're officially no longer living together, Ollie. It's over. Why should I live and be with you if you won't marry me? I knew you'd be like this. Is it because I'm being too one-sided about marriage? Is that it? Are you even thinking about us and what I want for the future? But aren't things just fine the way they are right now? Why do you need to complicate it with getting married? Well, I hate to see you go like this. Just because I won't marry you? That's just it, Ali. I don't understand why you won't marry me after five years. Plus, you used my earnings as an excuse to keep yourself from getting a job, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm employed. What do you mean? I heard that you had a huge falling out with your boss just over three months ago. Then you went and quit your job. Wait, what? How do you know about that? Who told you? I've actually known about this for a little while. But I only really found out the details recently. My father is a factory manager and he was a former business partner of your boss. What? Your father knew my boss? They were once business partners? How did I not know about this? Although I, I'm not directly involved with what my father does for work, so I kept quiet about it. I thought that it would be difficult for you if you knew that my father was business partners with your boss. It could have made things more awkward than they were. I used to sometimes see you go to his office from time to time when you were in sales. However, I haven't seen you in the past three months. Your successor in sales told me that you'd quit your job. 
I had to find out through him and not you? But that's crazy how you found all that out. I didn't want you to find out like that. You quit because you kept yelling at your boss for the own mistakes you were making. You can't just blame others for what you've done wrong. My father was able to tell me everything he knew about it. You've really become the man who has become accustomed to running away from his responsibilities. And of course it doesn't make me happy. I suppose now you know everything, I need to hurry up and get another job soon. You know if I do that, it'll be the same as before. I just don't understand why you'd hide something like you quitting your job for me. Why did you? I don't have to explain why. I did that. I just did, okay? Why do you want me to explain so much to you? You give me nothing, Ollie. That's the part I'm starting to hate about us being together. I can't do this anymore. So without further ado, I'll say my goodbyes. Enjoy looking for a new job to support yourself. Lonnie, I really need to talk to you. I've managed to prepare everything for us. Let's get married. Huh? Who is this? Is that you, Ollie? Why the heck are you asking me this now? Does that matter? Let's just get married. I'm ready for this. Are you for real? It's been over a year since we split. Don't you realize that we are over? We're done. I stopped living with you. I stopped all contact with you. Don't you realize what a separation is? Why are you even proposing to me after all this time and not being together? Because I've got myself sorted and I'm ready to take the next step with you. I've got myself another job. I can put money towards a ceremony and we can get back together. We can live together again. Ali, I'm already married to someone else though. It's not going to work out. Huh? What are you talking about? How can you be married? We only broke up a year ago. Have you moved on? After I broke up with you, my father set me up on a blind date with another man. I went on a date with him and we really hit it off. We share similar values, we're able to communicate our thoughts and feelings really well, and so it was a no-brainer but to go out with him. I found my person and so we decided to get married and that's what we did. There was no hesitation or going back and forth. This... this has got to be some kind of sick joke, right? I don't need to explain myself to you anymore. You didn't give me what I needed and you never will. I no longer need your contact details anymore. But you can't just do this to me. I want to get back together. I finally realized what I want. It's too late. I'm going to block you now. Don't ever try and contact me ever again. Goodbye. He's just being the same as always. So I thought to myself, I'll block him from contacting me. Actually, I had vaguely heard about his situation after our breakup from his acquaintances. Apparently, two of my friends who I thought were single got married really quickly. It seems that they were pressured to get married by their mothers and to have grandchildren as soon as possible. Ali's mother was getting impatient and told him to get a job and proposed to me. He got a job, but it was only part-time. He's not really earning a lot of money, according to my acquaintance. When he found out about my marriage, he lost all motivation, and he started to be absent from work and was then fired for missing work all the time. Recently, he's been looking after a bunch of kids at his parents' house. It seems that every day there's a battle between him and his mother about what he's done to his life. Dylan, do you realize what time it is? Why aren't you answering my calls? You're making me worry. Zoe, sorry, I was sleeping. You were asleep? Where were you sleeping? At the office. I can't believe nobody woke me up. Okay. You're gonna catch a cold sleeping there. You're right. I guess I'll go to a hotel nearby. What? Why a hotel? Well, there are no more trains. And it's better to just stay at a hotel than using a taxi to get home. I can get more sleep that way. You seem to be spending the night out a lot lately. I'm busy now. I can't help it. But I met Kenny's wife the other day. And she was talking about going on a family trip over the weekend. Your colleague seems to have no problem coming home every day. He's different. Kenny's not headed in the right direction. 
He's not taking this job seriously. Is that so? He seems to be really sincere. Yeah, he just seems that way. You wouldn't know. You're just a housewife. You don't even work. What do you mean I don't work? I'm working now. Yeah, at home. You think that compares to what I do? I'm outside working my butt off. I do understand that commuting and working outside is hard, but I'm still making money. So I'd like to be acknowledged for that. Okay, okay. I got you. Later. Oh, wait. You're coming home tomorrow, right? I actually ordered some of your favorite clams. I'm thinking of making clam chowder. Oh, well, that's thoughtful of you. Sounds good. So, I really want you to come home tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I definitely can't miss out on clams. Good. I'll have dinner waiting for you. Okay, thanks. I'm off to the hotel. Good night. Dylan, you promised to be home early today. It's already past nine. My bad. I still got work. I told you I wanted to have a talk with you. Well, let's talk now then. Go ahead. I want to talk in person. What's the need for that? I'm busy. Get your point across. We can't even talk in person? What? I don't want to listen to your complaining. Now or never, what's it going to be? Fine. About Addison. Huh? Ring a bell? What? I don't know what you're getting at. No use trying to hide it anymore. I already know. You and Edison are having an affair. You're suspecting me of cheating for not coming home? Don't be so paranoid. It's creepy. I'm not suspecting, I know. I've been investigating you this past month. Investigating? I hired a detective. What? Why? Why do you think? You were obviously acting weird these past few months. Even when you were busy with your job, you never used to stay out overnight. But lately it's been happening a lot. Can you blame me for being suspicious? Thought you'd be able to get away by saying it's work? Still, how could you go snooping around my private business? Talk about chilling. You're the one cheating! It's your fault! I've been doubting you all along. But it's a month ago that I finally decided to investigate you. A month ago? What happened then? I made your favorite clam chowder. I was looking forward to enjoying it with you. You promised to come home early, remember? Oh, that's when I was loaded with work. I don't know what the reason was, but I absolutely wanted you to come home that night. It was our wedding anniversary. Oh, sorry. I completely forgot. Yeah, you don't care about me anymore. It's just an anniversary. What? Don't be such a bother. What? Is it my fault? Yeah, you're making me want to cheat by being so unpleasant. Always complaining, growing older by the day. Addison is so young and sweet. All of a sudden, you're legitimizing your affair. Oh, I'm happy with my current situation. Nothing better than going out with a young, cute girl. Have you forgotten you're married? Don't you realize how despicable you're being? It's not like we have kids. It's just a matter of divorcing. You want to divorce? Yeah, I don't need you anymore. I don't want to be with someone who's going to hire a detective on me. Sooner or later, you'll start going through my phone. I don't want to go home to that. So you're serious about her? Of course. She's way better. Alright. I guess it's good that you came clean. So, let's get on with the divorce. Very well. But I will demand compensation. Don't forget to tell your girlfriend, too. She works with you. She must have known you were married. Huh? It's all your fault. If you were a decent wife, I wouldn't have had to go looking elsewhere. You are the problem. Why am I the one to compensate you? The state prohibits adultery. Thus, it is my right. Whatever. It's just about money. Did you make me go have an affair just to get money out of me? Don't be ridiculous! I was trying to mend things with you even after knowing you were cheating. I was hoping you would come back to me. That's why I was being so nice. I've had enough. I'll leave the house tomorrow. Go get the divorce papers. What are we having a talk? You left all of a sudden, and now you're ignoring me. You want me to go to your workplace? Can't even stay quiet and wait for a while? I'm too busy to be answering to you. I have my issues. Issues? That's not my problem. We need to talk about compensation and division of property. And what about all your belongings? You're just gonna leave them here? Just throw it all away. What? I need to deal with it. It costs money to dump all of this out. Money, money, money. That's all you care about. Because you're not even willing to talk. It's what comes along with carrying out a divorce. 
Well, then I'll make demands too. I don't owe you anything. It's you that needs to compensate me. How many times do I need to tell you? Oh no, you do owe me for living expenses. Living expenses? You want compensation for cheating? Then you need to pay for all the living expenses until now. I'll reclaim what I gave you. What? I took care of you as my wife all these years. You need to repay me. Rent, food, utilities. All of that ended up being a waste. I'll get all of that settled in turn for paying compensation. Settling our living expenses. Really? Awesome! What are you getting so excited about? You said we need to settle our living expenses, right? Then you'll sign the divorce paper and pay me compensation? Yeah. I'm completely fine with that. I'll take care of listing up all the expenses. What's with the change of heart? Didn't realize you wanted to divorce that badly. You should really learn some charm. You want to divorce too, right? Did you want to see me beg? No, not at all, but... Then everything is fine. I'll claim my compensation along with settling for expenses. Don't forget, you will comply to talks. If you try to weasel your way out again, I'll really pay you a visit at your workplace. I'm not going anywhere. I'm only glad to be getting rid of you. Marrying you was such a waste of my time. Hey, Zoe, what are you thinking? I got your claim for both living expenses and compensation. What's the deal? Oh, you got it. What is this? Why am I being billed close to $60,000 for both expenses and compensation? But that's what you demanded. You said we needed to settle the living expenses. I should be the one getting money for taking care of you. What is this amount? Can't you even calculate? Here's the deal. We've been married for three years. And think about it. Your net income per month is $2,800, right? Yeah. And you continue to spend about half of it for yourself. You only put in the rest for our expenses, right? Yeah, I've been giving you like 1400 bucks every month. So that's $16,800 a year? $50,400 over the course of three years. Our rent is $933. On top of that, we had the expenses of utilities, internet, insurance, and food. Just to name a few, how much do you think I've been paying? And that car you bought last year, who actually paid for it? Well, that was from the marital savings. Huh? How was that savings marital? That's pretty much all my earnings that was in the savings. That can't be right. I make more than you. My net income has been over $4,000 a month, and I only spend like $250 for myself every month. You were spending your earnings like it was nothing. So I was not being taken care of by you. It's the other way around. You've been earning more than $4,000 a month? Yeah. How else would we get by with you spending so much for yourself? Nothing I said could stop your splurging. It was easier for me to just earn a living myself. But you work at home. Yeah, and? I may not have literally been working my butt off, but I worked extremely hard to get to where I am today. I even cut back on sleep when I had to, all the while you were splurging and out playing with your girlfriend. You really are despicable. Don't you dare talk back to me. Well, I... I didn't realize you were making so much. Uh, it doesn't matter now. I've calculated everything exactly, so you need to pay up. 58,000 bucks. Plus, you're claiming like 27,000 from Addison, right? That's $85,000 total. Don't you think it's a bit too much? Mm, you're the one that demanded to settle living expenses. I only did what you said to do. Sorry, forget the living expenses. What? I don't know of any law that requires the settlement of living expenses. I can't afford that. It's you that started it. Once you realize it's you that has to pay, forget it? How convenient. No, I was wrong. Wrong? You just changed your mind? Zoe, you really are something. They've been earning more than me? Uh-huh. I'll settle with just the compensation, so pay up. A debt of $40,000 isn't gonna kill you. Zoe, I'm seeing you in a new light. Huh? Addison actually has no savings. She's demanding I pay for her cut of the compensation, too. She's really useless. Excuse me? So, I've decided to return home. Let's forget the divorce. Are you serious? Yeah, I've been thinking these past few days, and Addison really isn't for me. But I couldn't back out, so I was playing tough. I'm sorry, Zoe. I'll make amends, and become a good husband. You really think that's gonna change my mind? You really are something! I don't want to be with you anymore, get it? You cheat on me after I take care of you all these years? And on top of that, you deny my worth. I was just bluffing. Disgusting. Huh? You're absolutely disgusting. Why am I going to choose to be with a cheating money pit like you? I'm glad to get rid of you. 
But the other day you were saying how you were hoping I'd come back to you. It's called a change of heart. I don't change minds easily like you. So it's too late. Just sign the paper. Zoe, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I won't splurge, and I won't cheat anymore. Your words are so meaningless. I'm even more convinced that divorcing you is the right path. Marrying you was such a waste of my precious time. I had my attorney tell him to comply to the divorce and compensation, or his company will be notified. And my husband finally appeared to talk. He continued to cry and apologize, but it had no effect on me. Realizing that my mind was not going to change, he signed the papers at the third round of talks. Watching him cry every time we met was really irritating, so I am relieved. My ex's girlfriend did not have the money to pay compensation, so she had to borrow from her parents. Because of this, her parents are now suing my ex for defaming their daughter. The way I see it, they're both to blame. But it looks like my ex and his girlfriend are going to continue bickering at each other. I've become determined since deciding on the divorce, and my mind is now very clear. I was caught up in a mindset telling me that I had to take care of the person I decided to marry. Now I know that was a mistake. Finally being freed from the curse, I feel genuinely happy. I wish to live true to myself. I still have hope that one day I will be able to join hands with someone that can be mutually supportive with me.